Prepare sifted powdered sugar. For the first recipe, gagamit tayo ng merang powder. Tylos is a mask pa paggawa ng gum paste. Maglagay ng mga 1 half cup to 3 fourth cup ng powdered sugar sa bowl and then add yung merang powder at saka yung tylos. Then, i-reserve yung remaining powdered sugar kasi kakailanganin pa natin siya mamaya. Haluing mabuti! Then, add water. Then, stir to combine. Adding more powdered sugar. Yung gum paste recipe na to is basically just mixing all the ingredients lang. Then ininid siya hanggang mag-form siya ng soft but not that sticky dough. Adding enough powdered sugar kung masyado siyang sticky. Ganun lang, same as for the second recipe. Pakonti-konti lang ang pag-add ng sugar dun sa gum paste kasi nakakadry ng gum paste kapag nasobrahan siya. Mas madaling magdagdag kesa ang magbawas. Soft but not sticky. Then place in a plastic wrap. Ito yung excess powdered sugar dun sa 1 cup. It's 3 tablespoon and yes, sinupat ko siya. So total lang 13 tablespoon yung nagamit ko since 1 cup is 16 tablespoon less 3 tablespoon. But then again, you may need more or less powdered sugar. Trust your instinct. Sprinkle cornstarch sa work surface mo before rolling out your gum paste para hindi siya dumikit. And yes, pwede siyang gamitin agad. Do not use too much cornstarch din kasi nakakadry din siya ng gum paste. Kayang i-roll ng super neatest ng gum paste compared to fondant. As in, a lot thinner. Nice for your sugar flowers.
For the second recipe, gagamit tayo ng fresh egg whites instead of meringue powder. And always use sifted powdered sugar. Yung egg white is galing sa one large egg. 40 grams or less than one fourth cup siya. Whisk lang yung egg white ng mga 30 seconds para lang ma-break yung egg white. Combine powdered sugar and tylose. Mix well then add egg white. Stir until well combined. That's an additional half cup ng powdered sugar, pero hindi natin siyang gagamitin lahat. Again, you may need more or less ng powdered sugar. Need habang dinadagdagan siya ng pakonti-konting sugar. Continue lang siya sa pag-knead hanggang mag-form siya ng soft pero hindi na ganun ka-sticky na dough. Konting sticky is okay lang din. Then wrap siya sa plastic wrap. Ideally, kailangan mo siyang i-rest at least overnight. Pero, pwede mo rin siyang gamitin right away. Ito yung excess powdered sugar dun sa 1 half cup. That's 1 8 cup, which is 2 tablespoon plus 1 tablespoon. 1 half cup is 8 tablespoon less 3 tablespoon is 5 tablespoon. So, yung total na nagamit ko is 1 and a half cup plus 5 tablespoon powdered sugar. Again, again, you may need more or less powdered sugar. Sounds complicated ba? Kapag nasanay ka na, hindi mo na kailangan sukatin lahat. Promise, madali lang yan. Kapag naglagay ka ng food color sa gum paste tapos naging too sticky siya, pwede kang mag-add ng either powdered sugar or ng cornstarch. But since nakakadry nga sila, dapat konti lang or pwede kang mag-apply ng shortening sa hand mo or sa fingers and then need mo ulit si gum paste.
Instead na cornstarch, pwede rin gumamit ng shortening para hindi dumikit si gum paste dun sa work surface nyo. Leave to dry overnight. Air dry at room temperature. The thicker your gum paste, the longer drying time.